Hey everybody, welcome back to The Witcher 3. So you might notice we're not in the same field that we ended up in uh, previously, and that's because my Witcher senses, aka uh, you guys, they were flickering, and uh, somebody said, look, I don't want to be spoilery, but if you don't go talk to the Baron, you're not going to be able to play him in Gwent. And I had talked about wanting to play Gwent against him because we heard about it, and, uh, when Gwent is mentioned, I drop everything, and that becomes the most important thing. So, uh, here we are, ready to go and talk to the Baron, potentially play some Gwent, by potentially I mean definitely play some Gwent against him, and then, uh, we're just gonna pick up from there. But this is obviously the most important thing, and, uh, actually, I wanna see if he's got other things to tell us as well, so... Let's have a little chatty chat, shall we? I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Okay, yeah, boom, straight up we could play Gwent. And it is it is a quest, so... Yeah, I was kind of worried that had we resolved everything with the Baron that it might not be available, so I figure that it makes sense to do this now. But this is kind of interesting. Hear anything about witches in the area? Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Peasant Common babbling. Common folks say witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. Okay. How do you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. My unit smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled and abandoned the Perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. Oh, or you think? of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. <laughs> And I guess that answers the question as to why you're working with these guys. Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilf Guardians. This what is actually really I interesting. Do? Cast myself at them and die a hero. Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. <laughs> Rather yeah. live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilf Guardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. Sounds a bit like you're giving up. But, uh, I, like, I kind of, if I had to put myself in his shoes, I can't say I agree with his methodologies, but I can agree with how he feels. Like, I can see why he thinks the way that he does based on the few things that we know about him. Um, okay, that's interesting. Now, you mentioned Gwent. Let's throw down. Ever play Gwent? I do. And what's more, I usually win. If you've a deck, sit down. Outplay me, and I'll give you one of my unique cards. Oh! That for enticement. Okay. That, okay. I don't know exactly what a unique card is, but I'm hoping it's one of those, like, heroes. Let's lay him down. Here we go. So no bets. I'm going in with my standard, standard deck approach. Feel pretty confident with it. Let's see what kind of draw we get here. Penetrable Fog. Good, good, good. Uh, not great, because we do have some... We do have some archery here. We can clear it. I can maybe switch out my trebuchets. Let's do that. Take off, oh, frick. We'll take a front line and a midline approach. But that might change things a little bit. All right. That'll work. It's his turn. So I'm thinking we've got the spy available. Let's do that. I'm going to try and toss the first round just get more cards. Oh, interesting. Oh, he's got the same idea. He's got spy cards. 
Huh. If I pass right now, I'll give him the round. He could... I don't think he'd play another spy card, would he? Because if he did, then I'd win the round. He wouldn't want that. And I would have 11 cards. He would have... Uh, he'll draw an extra card, so we'd have 11 cards. And then it's just a battle of skills. But really, if I do that, I'm just... I'm taking a, I'm taking a loss to get an even play. And it's not even even, because then he's got the advantage. So, let me maybe throw down something else here. What could I bait out of this guy? Let's see. I'm going to toss down a trebuchet here, because that's not my long-term plan. Long-term is obviously my mid-range. Let's see. Okay. Since I don't feel like I need this card, I'm going to wipe him out and force him to play something else. So I'm not going to use that on my own, guys. That's for damn sure. Okay. Okay. Now, again, we're kind of in the similar position. This is really tempting. Although, I could now use this card, ice them out. Now, let's see what happens. The good thing about this, though, is that I feel like my cards are fairly strong right now. And... Yeah, it's a, this is a tough one, actually. Hmm. Let's throw down our other Ballista. Really drain him for cards here. Scorch! Ooh. Ooh-hoo. That's a good one to get out. Uh, I'm just trying to think of how tightly I could play this. If I take the loss, then I have to win two rounds with this many cards. If I can win this round without investing too many more cards, then I think I could take them. Um, the problem is I can't win the round now. Because I'm going to have to play too many cards in, the, in these two fields, which I've... Totally screwed over. <sighs> Damn, that's gonna be tough. Um, I'll take the loss. I'm gonna have to. Oh, interesting. That's... Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I'm still ahead of him. Oh, but I'm not because of the ice. Shit, and now he has an advantage. Goddamn Baron. He's got a significant advantage. Oh, I screwed that up. Well, I screwed that up. What am I going to do? Not much. But this is a must win. So... Problem is, I don't have multiple of any of these guys with a tight bond. So, I mean, really, it's kind of a crapshoot here. I just have to hope that he has, like, no good cards. Which, obviously, is not going to be the case. Uh, I guess we'll take that round. Oh, right. Uh, still learning some strategy, but I really should have just played my lower level card here to take the 9 and then taken the win off of that. Oops. Now he's a significant advantage over me. And that was, like, the worst possible card to get. Son of a bitch. With any luck, with any luck, he will have just a bunch of weather cards that I can then get rid of, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I don't have a lot of good, like, synergies quite yet. Maybe he'll do something stupid. There's always that hope. Nope, that's right there. It's pretty much the dagger. I can't come back from that. Okay, you bested me this time, Baron, but now I know what's up. You got a shitload of spy cards. 
Oh, I don't like that very much. I don't like that. That first round too. That was. Um... You're not complete shite, <laughs> but you really Thanks. should work on your technique. Thank you. That's fantastic. Stop by again sometime. We'll play another round. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. Thanks for that. I'm listening. Why do you think I'm here? In the mood for a round of Gwent. <laughs> I'm always in the mood. I'm pissed for now. Let's lay him down. Let's lay. Uh, that is a sick line. Let's lay him down. All right, give me something good. Some synergy would be nice. Okay, Blue Stripes is on his own. The Stennis card is like one of our best cards right now. Uh, shit. These guys are kind of crap. So I don't have a lot of Ballista. All right. So again, not a lot of synergies. Get this out early. Ooh, decoy card. Nice. That'll actually grit. Yep. Boom. This is good news. Because I can use that against him. Oh, and he's still playing. Okay, this is kind of an interesting little tactic he's got going on here. Basically, we're trying, we're trying to make each other, like, trying to make the other person win right now. Ah, oh, shit. Those are not great cards, are they? Look at this. Huh. How many more could he have? Getting this... This is great, though. This could be very, very helpful. Um, if I pass right now, I am winning. He's going to have to play another card, but he plays the card, and then he's going to get another card, so then we're just even. And if we're just even and I'm down again, like, that's the same mentality as last time. I don't know that that benefits me as much. Um... I'm gonna try and bait out some bigger plays from him. Alright. That'll- I'll take that. Because now I go in with the advantage that we just talked about. So I get the extra card, so we have 12 each, and now I just need to win one round. So I'm literally gonna throw everything at him and, uh, hopefully crush him. But, but, uh, he does have that Scorch thing, which makes me a bit nervous. I don't know if he's drawn it or not. But, uh, yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna save my, my extra for a bit later, trying to catch him off guard here. Yeah, we have those guys too, Baron. Oh, he's got a couple. Fine. Fair enough. Um... I kind of have to, like, lull him into this false sense of security, you know? That's kind of... That's my vibe right now. Because there's no way he's gonna pass, right? So remember, we can clear the weather, so I'm I'm okay with that happening. I want him to feel comfortable. Now that's an interesting tactic. He ices it and then he plays a card into it. Might be thinking the same thing. Actually, that's kind of an interesting little strategy. Let's say I were to ice something and be like, yeah, it's not a big deal. And then I remove it later on. That's kind of a cool approach, I guess. It would work better if you were playing against people. Like, real person, not, you know, the Baron. Hello! I'm just worried that that Scorch card comes out and then these guys get toasted. 
Okay. Here's hoping that he just doesn't have more powerful cards than me, and he frickin' might if he drops down all these trebuchets. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is dangerous. Oh, that is so bad! That is so bad for me. What's he gonna... Oh, shit. <laughs> this is interesting. What do I do? Because look, if I play the weather card, I've got nothing. What I could do... Oh, okay, here's what I need to do. I'm gonna clear the weather, hopefully he gets comfortable, and then I'm gonna ice, and then we would be up by one if, if this plan goes according to plan. <laughs> Let's see. Pass. Pass. Yes! Oh, I hope this works, man. <laughs> I think we did it. Oh, that was beautiful. Feel pretty good about that. Not gonna lie. That felt awesome. <laughs> you won. <laughs> that was the sick. The man's only as good as his word. Take the card. I fear Velen's short on worthy opponents. Boat builder in Oriton might be one. There was also an old soothsayer. Very cool. The east of here, near the windmill last I heard. There's a lad. About as reasonable as an old mare, but he plays a devilish hand. In fact, I don't rightly know that you're ready for him. This is actually amazing. This is so cool, because now, um, we actually have Gwent quests. Which is sweet. Now, the one that he mentioned, though, are those, because I only got two here. Win unique card from the Soothsayer, from the man in Oriton. We've also got Fist, Crow's Perch, collect them all. I don't think we have actual locations for those, no. But I really do want to. Um, yeah, regardless, pretty cool. We should head out to the Peller now. Um, but what I will do is check out this card that we got. So, Sigmund Dykstra, this is a unique card in the sense of what? Alright. Um... So why is that card unique? Just because it's a- it's a character name? We definitely want the card. I also don't know why these two cards aren't stacked. Like, because I got two here and one here. I don't know why it's not just times three, but... Okay, so we got an extra spy. It's a good card, don't get me wrong. I think the spy cards are actually fantastic. And uh, when other people have spy cards, the decoy is fantastic. But regardless, uh, pretty cool what just happened there. <laughs> I don't know. That just felt like that strategy paid off perfectly. Like, it couldn't have worked any better than that. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy. So, if you're not into Gwent, and I mean, you're probably insane if you're not, then, well, to be honest, you're probably not watching anymore, and that's okay. But, uh, I gotta say, if you're not into Gwent, you're seriously missing out, because it is the shit, and I want to collect... I literally, part of me wants to say, and I hate saying this out loud because you guys will hold me to it, but I want to collect them all. Yeah, I do. It's just like, I don't know what it is. And what I really want, I want to be able to play other people, like, online. They have to do that somehow. They've got to integrate it, and I think that they'd be crazy not to. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. So look, 
I'm not trying to like crush immersion here too much, but I guess on the way to this Peller's Hut, we could talk about a couple of things. Uh, number one, this is a, an amazing experience. I was talking about it on Twitter uh, today that um, I don't think there's going to be much else that I could that's ever going to come close to this. Like it's it's the new standard, right? Like it, I just I was talking to buddies that are playing it and stuff, and there's uh, there's literally no quests that I've been to that are like, oh, that's it. You know, like maybe some points of interest where it's just like a monster's nest or whatever. That's fine. But no actual quests where I've been like, that's all you want me to do. And I, I do feel like every character is written extremely well. They're all Let's memorable. Go. Even like little side characters and stuff. And I'm just like blown away that that's been accomplished. My one, my, not one. I mean, there's a couple of little gripes they have. What? That, dude. At least go behind the trees. Go, go. Uh, a couple of gripes that I do have, like the movement with Geralt, I feel is a little bit, um, like he doesn't turn very well, if that makes sense. He, uh... That's it, Roach. He tends to rotate in a very slow, elaborate manner. Whoa! Whoa. But outside of that, like, I don't have a lot of big complaints. What's going on here? This is the Peller. Why are these guys... Get out of my sight. Some spears wanted I need a good plan. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and... Well, let's ask first. Let's be polite. What do you want from the Peller? What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured augurys. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries. Lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse. And he's got hardened pustules all over him. Oh. Yeah, um... You guys are gonna have to go ahead and leave. Think you need to leave now. Do we? <laughs> yes. You do. A few finger well, wags later. Let's go then. Problem solved. It would be interesting if there is a mm. way. Gotta wonder about a man who could get Edric's friends all worked up. Be interesting if there is a way when you're um, using your axi sign to manipulate somebody, if there was something you had to do to kind of um, influence its effectiveness. Not like a mini game or something, but I don't I don't know how you would exactly do that, but it'd be cool if you had some control over if it worked or not. And then with multiple levels, it gets easier to be able to do it. Thankfully we've got it maxed out. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils. Who do they bring? What CK? I need your help. Whoa! A man. Nay, a wolf. Grey. Though not old, tis he the pillar awaits. Okay. It's a very interesting necklace thing you got going on. And dinner. <laughs> you were expecting me. I, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is rape and death, but the wolf shall disperse them. The white wolf. Oh, cool. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper. For Anna, to protect okay, her. Okay, so he does know her. Did you make this? You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers, over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. Should never have taken it off. Protect from what? So, designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was. Evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion. From dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? 
is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Okay. It is not for mouth speech, not nor for the touch. Nothing more Peller could do. I I happen to be looking for Anna and her daughter. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Peller don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur. The spirits ask. Spirits. Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My ghost! <laughs> She's fled! Oh, are the stories true? Scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? They were saying that Without he was goat, like, uh... Impossible. No goat? Won't work. Let's just say he loves his animals. <laughs> Can't seriously think I'm gonna chase down your goat. A Pella without a goat makes for a mute prophet. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm curious to see how far we could press him, but I, I need his help. Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell. The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. Up for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous what? as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. The Peller is a very interesting man. We have a new quest I didn't prepare for use by placing it in the appropriate slot. And then use it. Alright. Well, we do have it here. Peller's Bell. And it's equipped. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, if what they say is true, I do feel a bit bad about this, what this goat has to go through. This way, I think. Oh. We're on the right track. What the shit is that? Another clue. There's more than goats out here. Uh oh. This is not looking good for Princess. Whoa! Damn it. You guys are strong little bastards. Don't tell me. If you guys killed this goat, I swear to God. Good. Oh, I still hear it. Come on, princess. Where are you? Good. There you are. Oh, look it. It's Princess. Come on. Oh, you're cute. Let's go see the Beller. All right. Come with me. This is what it's come to. Should have guessed as much. 
What's a Witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? <laughs> he said stay away from this, though, didn't he? Come on, damn it. Watch out for the strawberries. Come on. This way, your grace. Get over here. <laughs> is that? Yeah, it is. You go. Hey, where, hey, where are you going? Princess, come back here. Okay, you stay here. Bear, bear, run. Where, oh my god. Shit. Are you shitting me? Come on, big bear. Ouch. I shouldn't be so brave. Let's go. Oh, bears don't like fire. Big surprise. Yeah, he's bleeding now. Or poison, I guess. Damn it. Let's go, big boy. In a way, I'm grateful for you, Princess, because you provided probably an adequate distraction. And also, without going to look for you, I would never have found what is probably an empty cave. <laughs> With a bear in front of it. Bear wouldn't be here for no reason, would it? Oh my god, is this like huge? That's probably just baby bear. Mama bear is probably down here, is ready to sack me. Or not. I'll take that. Timber. Hey! Whoa! Ursine steel sword master crafted? Uh, one second, please. Ursine Steel Sword. Where is it? Mastercrafted. Look at that. That's insane. That's insane. Level 30. Oh my god. We also need uh, a superior Ursine Sword. And in order to create a superior one, I think we need an enhanced one. And in order to create an enhanced one, we need a basic one. We have a little ways to go before we get to Mastercrafted anything. I gotta say. But, uh, yeah, I would say that's worth it for killing Baby Bear. I'm starting to think Baby Bear wasn't so baby. Princess is probably... Hey, are there two? Oh, cool. There's two little entrances there. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? Come on, princess. I gotta get you back to your... I don't even know what to call him. Let's move. I feel bad about just bringing this thing back here, but... You're no roach. But I bet we can be friends in time. <laughs> You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Yeah. It's interesting, like... In case you don't know, we say every roach because that's what we always name our horse. 
No matter what horse it is, it's always Roach. Princess, flee not from the pillar, for there are wolves about. You're welcome. Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. <laughs> let's let's do this. Can we talk about Anna and Tamara now? Know where they might be. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Like the whole living being or fine. Be right back. What do I have to get for you now? Do. No Tamara, just a child. A child that lives not, yet did not die. <gasps> no. Oh wait, would that? Yeah, that could make sense. I'm just. <laughs> uh, pregnant? Was she pregnant? It's over. Is that it? That is it. Child lives yet. Parents had nothing more to say. Like where they went or where they are now? You came for an augury, an augur I did. They're gone, the child remains. So... Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. But Anna not Tamara. Pregnant. Yep, boom. She was. And she miscarried. Oh, what? Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Oh, wait a second. Or ashamed or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Oh, wait a second. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. Yeah. <laughs> I'm asking the question, but I know the answer. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. Holy the hell. The old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. Wow, okay, so this kind of explains a few things. Okay, but it doesn't explain everything. Number one, the room was like destroyed, right? There was the, there was the thing of the candle that was broken and there was wine everywhere. We've heard a couple times that he's like, he's got a temper. Uh, we've heard that he even, no, he said himself he was blackout drunk, right? So you mix all of that, maybe, maybe he, <laughs> maybe he, Beat her and she was pregnant. Oh my god! But what happened to the child? Why would he send us out to do this throne. then? Like without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Hmm. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. A botchling. Oh, White that's wolf, a botchling, wise right? Wolf. Catch the botchling. The botchling will help lead the wolf to. We the read about ones. botchlings a long botchlings time ago. Suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. 
is a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the White Wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Okay, so... How can I lift the curse, then? Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming. That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Okay. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefathers' eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefathers' eve this year, but we'll find a way all the same. Okay, what's forefa- yeah, what's forefathers' eve? I hear you right. You mentioned forefathers' eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefathers' Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name, appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. And where's if that? What you say is true. The Baron ought to know where that grave is. Okay. Read the bestiary to learn more about botchlings. Fine. We've read this before. What are they? Cursed ones? Yeah, cursed ones. Botchlings. So we've read most of this. Botchling stands around a foot and a half in height. Botchling curse can be lifted by transforming it into a lubberkin, a guardian spirit of the hearth that watches over the family it never knew and the house it never could call home. Huh. This is really effed up, man. Now we have Tamara and Anna Stranger. More details. So Anna, Geralt discovered that Anna's marital life had not been working out as well as she might have hoped. She had recently been pregnant, but lost her child for unknown reasons shortly before her disappearance. I think we figured out how she lost it. Tamara. Team Tamara had finally had enough of the way the Baron treated her mother and decided to flee along with her. Holy shit. What about the Peller here? Yet even the most cunning men make the occasional professional error. Had Geralt not intervened, who know what might have become of the old seer at the hands of the Baron's enraged men? Okay. The Peller turned out to be more skilled at soothsaying than curing indigestion. Though what he divined for Geralt was murky at best, the Witcher managed to put the pieces together into a somewhat logical whole. So, I think we're pretty close here as to what's going on with, um... Uh, with the Baron. I'm guessing he's been... beating them? Maybe... Man, I, it's interesting because he's made some comments where I'm like, man, I get that this guy's rough around the edges, but he feels like he's a family man, and I guess that's part of the manipulation. I just don't get why he would send us to do this if that was a... He'd have to know that we'd find out. He just, maybe he's just dumb. But for some reason, I'm really pissed about it. Like, I'm uncomfortable if this went down the way that I think it went down. Man, I don't know. I'm gonna have to reflect on this. Anyways, um, we'll take a break here, and when we come back, we're gonna go and confront the Baron and see what he has to, uh to say about this, because obviously this is not good. I do wonder- White wolf. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Um... Villagers visit often? Folk from the village come here often. I just want to see what he has oh, to sell. When help they need, the Pella they seek. Help with what? 
with the dead that come a-haunting. Peace must be made, but they must then wait for Forefather's Eve. Or when an evil spirit runs wild in a homestead, drive the spirit off the Pelican. And if I needed, say, a love potion? Then to the witch you would be sent. Not a matter for the Pella, that. A love potion? I was gonna say, is he like a witch? But I guess he's quite different. Could use a few potion ingredients. Show me what you got. Okay, what is this, first of all? Formula Negrito. Let's buy. Uh, just one. And does he have any of those... Um... Are these what I think they are? Ergo seeds. Yep. We needed these for the Shrieker fight, but didn't have them. I think we needed four. Cursed Draconid leather. That's pretty cool, but goddamn expensive. Okay, so yeah, I think we're good here. And I guess since we're in here, we could go ahead and make whatever we need. Okay, I don't have enough for those. Any alcohol? Don't really need those. I think we're pretty good. We, I really want enhanced stuff. So enhanced dragon's dream, but we need allspice. He might sell that, actually. And we need allspice here as well. Wow. Okay. He does sell it. And it's not even that expensive. Wow. Okay. That just made me happy. So let's go ahead and enhance Dragon's Dream. Look at that. 30 second effect duration, 400 fire damage. That's actually massive. I'm going to have to use that all the time. Northern Wind blows landed on frozen foes deal additional... Oh, it freezes them. And then blows landed on them does additional damage. Yes. That is awesome. We can make a Cockatrice decoction now. <gasps> That's cool. Because we have a Cockatrice mutagen. Makes sense. Crow's eye. So what does this do? All alchemy creations can be used one additional time. Uh, so it doubles our toxicity, basically. That's, that's what this is saying. So I think when we fought the Shrieker, there was a time when like toxicity was creeping up. And I guess you'd pop this first... Then you could just, like, pound your, your, uh, you could swallow a bunch of, well, you could take Swallow, you could take the, um, um, the Thunderbolt one, like, yeah, this is cool. Okay. Look at all these decoctions we have. Draconid oil we can now make, so we're right there. We also need Echimera Hide. Hybrid oil and Ernia eye. We can make hybrid oil now. Insectoid oil. Does he have beggar tick blossoms and genasia petals? Yep. What about beggar ticks? Yep. I don't recall how many we needed. Okay, we're good there. We have vampire oil. We have black blood. Injur Witcher's blood injures vampires and necrophages when they wound him. Oh, that is cool. That was in, uh, <laughs> that was in one of the trailers. That's what that is. White honey, we need honeysuckle and necker hearts. I don't think he has necker hearts. Honeysuckle, though. Oh, he does have necker hearts. No, wolf liver. Okay. And what was the other one? There was one of these that we could make. Mistletoe, we need five. Okay. 
Uh, Olgroid oil. We need one more Genesha petal. I know this isn't exciting for you guys, but, uh, you know, it's important. Arenaria and Honeysuckle. We need one of each. This is the way to go, man. Just buy it from these guys. We could find it, but... I mean... And we also need a uh, Ranagrin. He's got this. Man, this is awesome. And this is enhanced insectoid oil, so 25% damage. It's massive. Hybrid oil. I don't think he has an Erinia eye, but he does have Genesha petals and Ekamara hides. Don't think so. But I will buy another one of these, so we have it. And lastly... And we need Necker Hearts, and that's about it, really. Crow's Eye and Fiend Dung. I don't think he has that. Doesn't look like it. Uh, okay, cool. Well, tell you what, guys. This is now where I'm actually going to take a break. I'm super happy we got all these friggin' potions. Shouldn't be as excited so as I am, but that's great. Especially the ones for our blade. I think the, the blade oils are, like, honestly, like, the best thing. And I want to get the ability to have those, like, permanently on there. That will be huge. So that's uh, one of my goals. Anyways, thanks again, guys. Take care. Bye.